In the first half of 2020, Google and Microsoft Ads both announced that there are going to be changes to the match types for search campaigns. On both platforms, effectively broad match modifier keywords are going to go away. But the change is a little bit more subtle than that. Effectively, what's going to happen is that phrase match keywords are going to absorb some of the functionality of broad match modifier keywords. And broad match modifier will still work, but it just won't work the same as it did. So there's a lot of things going on here. There are some people who are going to think that this change is a huge difference in the way that we're going to be managing campaigns. And there are other people who think that it's not going to do anything. And personally, I think they're both wrong. I think that it's not going to be world ending, but it is going to change a little bit of what we need to do in the accounts, but we need to make sure that we're just strategizing appropriately. So in this video, I want to run through what the changes actually are and how you can expect your match types to work in your accounts moving forward. I then want to talk about the timelines of when these are going to be rolled out and when broad match modifier keywords are going to go completely away. And then we'll talk last about some of those slight changes that we might need to make in account management to make sure that we're accommodating appropriately in our accounts. Let's start by talking about what the changes are going to look like in the accounts. So here is the graphic that Google gives us on this change. It's got two keywords in that top line, moving services NYC to Boston as a phrase match, and then moving services NYC to Boston as a broad match modified term with all words anchored. Down below that, we basically have three search queries and a before and after of which match types of the keywords would match to those queries. In the first one, we have affordable moving services NYC to Boston. And in the original version, phrase match would have matched to that. The second keyword, is NYC corporate moving services to Boston. In the original version, broad match modifier would have matched to that because although the phrase is a little bit different, it still hits all of the anchored words that the keyword has up above. And the last query is moving services Boston to NYC. And in the previous version, that also would have matched a broad match modifier. But you'll notice that that actually has a reverse in the order of the cities. Instead of moving from NYC to Boston, you're moving from Boston to NYC, which was one of the challenges that advertisers had and some of the feedback that they had. In this new updated version, the first two variants will still come through and they will both be captured by the updated phrase match variant because it now will house the original phrase match intent, which would be effectively that first query, but it'll also absorb absorb the functionality of broad match modifier for keywords like this second keyword. That said, both channels have said that their updated phrase match keywords are going to be a little bit smarter than broad match modifier. They both claim that they will pay attention to the order within keywords. So for Google, they're showing Boston to NYC as opposed to the original intent the other way around. This third query down here is effectively asking to move the opposite way, and that's not what we want. So Google says it'll rule that out. Microsoft's example that they use is the difference between somebody searching for milk chocolate and chocolate milk. Two completely different things, both delicious in my mind, but both channels do claim that they'll pay attention to order. So this is effectively the change that's going to be happening in functionality for the keyword match types. When it comes down to timing for these, they are different for each channel because Google announced this first. For most English speaking regions, this started in February of 2021. And for the remaining languages, those changes will be rolled out by July of 2021 for Google. For Microsoft, the changes have just been announced at the very beginning of May. And they said that in the coming weeks, changes will be rolling out. So they seem to think that they'll get everything done by June 2021. But depending on when you're watching this video, It'll basically be happening to you while this is going on. These changes are going into effect right now and have already hit a number of different advertisers around the world, depending on your language targeting. The next logical question is, what is the last day to make broad match modified keywords? This is only different by about a month. Google is going to let you create broad match modified keywords up until July of 2021. And Microsoft is only giving you until August of 2021. So if you like broad match modified, you can keep making them to your heart's content all the way up until these dates. But overall, the next thing we need to talk about is what these changes mean for your account. What do you need to actually do? As I mentioned in the intro, some people think this is a huge deal and other people think this means nothing whatsoever. Like I said, this is going to be something a little bit more in the middle. First, both platforms say that no changes are required, which is true. If you have broad match modified keywords, they are either going to be or are already opted into the new phrase match functionality. So for that scenario, if you don't have phrase match in your account, 
I would just leave your broad match modified keywords as they are. For the longest time, I was one of the advertisers that when I created new campaigns, I only put broad match modified and exact keywords in each ad group. For those accounts, I'll probably just leave those exactly as they are because the functionality will be the same even though they still have those little anchor notations with the plus sign before the words. It's still gonna operate like phrase. So it doesn't really matter if you adjust them or not. So I'll probably leave those alone. The problem comes in this next step that phrase and broad match modified keywords will match to the same thing. They're effectively going to be the same keywords. So if you do have broad match modified and phrase in your ad groups, campaigns, the account that are the exact same term, we probably need to make some adjustments there. You can either remove one of the keywords, which in that case, I would probably suggest pausing the broad match modified keyword. If for no other reason than just the ease of working within the account later on, those keywords are still going to have those plus anchor notations in the keyword itself, whereas phrase match doesn't. And that's just going to be easier to work with. And we're not gonna be able to make broad match modified keywords after late this summer anyway. Why not just get rid of the broad match modified terms, drop the additional punctuation and focus on phrase. If you do want to update your broad match modified keywords to phrase, whether it's for some particular reason you have, or if it's because of that punctuation issue that I just mentioned, you need to know that you will lose historical data on those broad match modified keywords. It will not retain the long-term keyword. It will not retain the long-term performance and it'll treat it as a new keyword. So before you go updating everything, make sure that you've either downloaded all of your historical performance or just change your mind and don't do it and leave things as broad match modified because they're going to work the same way anyway. Lastly, I would suggest that any new keywords you add to your account, you only add as phrase match. Don't even add broad match modified, even though we're able to make them all the way until July or August, depending on the channel. It's just going to be a pain later on to have to work around them, make sure that we understand how they're working, not working, all that sort of thing. So I'd suggest only using phrase match moving forward. Overall, this certainly isn't the biggest change that we've had to weather over the past few years from the channels, but it is something that we need to think through and prepare for, even if it's only trying to decide how we're going to add new keywords moving forward and making sure that we're getting rid of duplicate keywords in the campaigns. As you can tell, we're recording this video kind of in the thick of the changes. So the timelines and the actual changes might be adjusted moving forward. But if you have any questions about things as they stand in this video or any updates later on, feel free to leave us a note in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.